Honorable viewers, I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Department of English. Today's topic is Sophocles Pelei Oedipus Rex. So let's get started. Sophocles Pelei Oedipus Rex has captivated drama enthusiasts and psychology scholars alike for centuries. Sigmund Freud brought the name Oedipus when the theorizing the Oedipal complex, which is when a male harbors sexual fantasizes for his mother. In Sophocles' play, Oedipus marries his mother and she is children by her. This tragedy is about more than psychological disorders, however, it is about prophecies and what happens when mortals try to refute them. The play opens in the city of Thebes. Oedipus rules the city alongside his wife Jocasta. They have two daughters, Ismene and Antigone. He is vexed with a problem. The po people of Thebes are sick, poor and dying. To find a solution, he sends Creon, his brother-in-law, to the shrine of Apollo. Creon returns to inform Oedipus that the bad blood must be removed from Thebes for the city to hell. The bad blood comes from the murder of Laius, the former king of Thebes. Oedipus inquires why the people of Thebes never looked into Laius' death and learns they were too concerned with the spinnings to focus on that. The spinnings had parked herself outside Thebes and would kill anyone who could not answer the following riddle. What crawls on four legs in the morning, walks on two legs in the afternoon, and three in the evening. Oedipus swears to the people he will find the culprit in Laius' murder. He calls upon a blind prophet named Thresius for aid and advice. Thresius Reluctantly informs Oedipus it is he who is the bad blood, he who killed his father and sleeps with his mother. Oedipus, shocked and angered by this, is convinced that Creon got Tresias to say these things to take the throne in Thebes. Creon defends himself claiming that not only did he not ask Tresias to lie for him, but he has no interest in ruling Thebes. Jocasta enters and Creon leaves. Oedipus confines his oaths to his wife and she tries to con comfort him by telling him not to please stalk in the words of the oracle. She tells him the oracle once prophesied that her son would kill his mother, father and sleep with her. She assures Oedipus this never happened. She adds that she and Laius had a son, but knowing the prophecy, Laius burned the child's feet and abandoned him in the wild. Oedipus is not shocked by this information and continues to question Jocasta about Laius. He asks when and where the old king died and what he looked like. Jocasta tries to reassure Oedipus, telling him there is a survivor who had been with Laius. Oedipus sends for him, feeling more and more concerned. He tells Jocasta about his own are bringing while they wait. The oracle at Delphi told him that he was to murder his father and share his mother's bed. So he left his home in Corinth to prevent to horrible a fate. On his way to Thebes, he was attacked by a group of men 
and killed all but on. Oedipus Ramenating is interp interrupted by a Corinthian who has come to wake Oedipus to return home to rule because his father has died. Oedipus refuses, certain that if he does, he will hurt his mother. He tells the Corinthian this is way he cannot return home. But the Corinthian explains that Marp and Polyphorus, the parents who raised Oedipus, were not his real parents, but had accepted Oedipus as a gift from him. He had been given Oedipus as a baby with his feet bound by a herdsman near Mount Catherine. Uh, At this point, the survivor arrives and corroborates this story. As he was the herdsman who gave the baby Oedipus to the Corinthian. The realization that Oedipus killed his biological father, Laius, and slept with his biological mother, Jocasta, has grim ramifications. Jocasta hangs herself and Oedipus blinds himself with her pin. He exhales. He exiles himself from Thebes and leaves the city and his daughters in Creon's care. Oedipus wends his way back to where his story began at Mount Catherion. Oedipus Rex is the first in a series of plays known as the Theban Palace. The others include Oedipus at Colonus, in which Oedipus travels with his daughter. Antigone to Colonus, where he dies, and Antigone with chronicles her return to Thebes and her suicide, which leads to two other societies, those of Creon's son and Creon's wife. Sophocles remains one of the foremost ancient Greek playwrights, alongside the Theban palace. Four others of his palace survive. While not many of his complete works survive, there are more than 100 fragmentary plays attributed to Sophocles. So that's all about Oedipus the King for the timing. Thanks for your patience, Yari.